Hi, welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to use the if function in Excel to grade students according to A, B, C, D going. Okay. Now, let's take a particular class that I'm teaching. Let's say I'm teaching them research methods. Okay. Now, before I can grade them according to A, B, C, and D going, okay, I need to know their total scores. So these are the students that I'm teaching, their index numbers, then their midterm scores their end of semester exam scores and I want to know the total. So to know the total for each of the students, so you can use equal to, okay, then I can say 710 plus 62. When I click enter, it will give me the correct answer. But remember, if you use this method for it, then you have to do for each student one after the other. You can't autofill. It will be very stressful. So you have to use the cell reference method to do this. So don't do what I don't do this. Okay. So to use the cell reference method, there are two ways you can also do that. You can say cell B6, okay, plus cell C6. Then you click enter. It will give you the answer. You can also say you can also say, let me say, sum, S-U-M, then you open bracket, then cell B6, comma, C6, okay, then you close bracket and click enter. It will also give you the answer. So those are the various ways you can do, do this, okay. Now, for either of the two last two methods I just show you right now, now, to do it for the other students, okay, you don't necessarily have to enter the formula or the function one by one okay so you just come to the tip down uh, right corner here you see that it changes to black initially it was white but now it has changed to black huh. so you left click on it and drag down to the last student so you drag down to the last student so the last student is at so the row is 36 so you see that it automatically gives you the answer for everyone. 22 plus 56 is what? 78 going. Okay. So that's how, that's how to get the total for each of the students. Now, to grade the student, it's important to know the grading system you are using. So I'm using, okay, let me say from 70 to 100 is A. Then from 60 to 69.99 is B. Then from... 50 to 59.99 is C, and then from 40 to 49.99 is D, and then below 40 is F, straightforward. So I want to tell Excel what to do, okay, how to grade them. So I'll enter for the first one equals if, then you open bracket, then you tell Excel that Excel, this particular cell, which is cell D6, you can click on it. If it happens to be greater than or equal to 70, that's the logic. If it happens to be greater than or equal to 70, comma, then you tell Excel that you should make it A. Okay, so you put the A in quotation. Okay, you open quotation and then A, then you close it. Comma, then you enter the if again and open the bracket. Then you tell it also that if that same cell, which is cell D6, is greater than or equal to 60, is greater than or equal to 60, comma, then open quotation and enter B and close quotation. So here you are telling it that if it's not greater than or equal to 70, then the second condition is if it happens to be greater than or equal to 60, but not 70, you should make it B. That's what you are telling Excel here. Then comma, then you bring if again, since you are not done. Then you open bracket, I following. Then you enter D6 again. You are still referring to that same cell. Okay, D6. If the first two conditions are still not true, again, if D6 happens to be greater than or equal to 50 it should make it c so you bring command then you open quotation enter c and close quotation exactly how you want it to be in capital letters okay then you bring a comma 
then you enter if again like if this one too is not true what should happen okay so if then you open bracket cell d6 again that same cell if it is greater than or equal to 40 so greater than or equal to 40 then this time round you should make it to a d so you open quotation then you enter d and close it comma now if all this you know the last one is going to be if it is less than 40 you should make it f so there's nothing like there's no need retyping that after the comma just bring quotation then f then you close quotation without necessarily giving it any condition anymore you are trying to tell excel that if none of the first how many are they one two three four so if none of the first four are true then you should make it f that's what you are telling excel straight so close the bracket now when you close it you don't just close it once you close it the number of times you've opened it okay so you close the second time again you close the third that's red you see that the red matches with this red as well then you close it again okay the first was black so now the last is black so it means it match okay then you click enter as soon as you click enter it gives you what a it respects the logic that okay if d6 is greater than or equal to 70 you should make it a so you see that you get the a now the reason you are supposed to use formula for this is that it will be stressful you imagine you teaching students about 200 or 500 students in class it will be stressful typing a b c for each person that's why you're supposed to use this in autofill so let's do that now you see that it is white then when you come down to the tip here it becomes black okay so you left click on it and drag to the last student then you leave it you see that it auto fills right so you can see this person has 64 and we know that 60, 60 to 69.99 is b so you see that you get a correct then and this person got below 40 in total he had f have you seen so it respects the the formula the function we've used okay now mm, i want to make this center okay yeah now so that's how to do this you can also make it excellent very good and the likes okay by using that same formula let me do that for you to see so i come back to the first one and then i copy this formula i've used here you can highlight the whole thing and copy Control plus c Control plus c i've copied that okay then click enter so that it won't interfere with what you have here now i want to make it okay if it is a excellent if it's b this and the light so when i come to this particular place okay then i click on the formula bar and then Control plus v to paste that same formula but i'm going to change a to excellent because this time around i want it in words those kind of words okay so excellent excellent uh, let me erase this e, the small letter e okay and then b i want it as very good or let me just say good and then i want c as credit credit and then i want d as pass okay pass and then f as fill so when i click enter you see that i write this place as excellent so the one who got it is excellent so let's auto fill and see what it will write for the others so let's drag to the last from the first person to the last so have you seen that the person who had d got a pass have you seen that so you can do this okay also in case you want to know the highest mark lowest mark number of a's number of b's number of c's number of d's number of f's 
and number of the highest mark, number of the lowest mark as well. We are going to use this function. So let's see how to do that. So for the highest mark, okay, you enter equals, then you type max, open bracket, that's maximum. Now, the first one is what is 79 right so from 79 to the last so you can left click and drag to the last but if you know the cell names you can type them so this is the last cell 30 that's 36 right d36 is the last so let me scroll up for you to see you see that it's there max d6 to d36 okay so let's close the bracket and then click enter so the maximum mark is what is 94 that's the highest mark okay then to note the lowest also you enter equals the min min then open bracket now it's from cell d6 isn't it so d6 2 that's column the last is d36 okay so we close the bracket as well then we click enter meaning the lowest mark is 24 okay then to know the number of a's okay to know the number of a's you enter equals then count if use the count if if you use count just normal count count is used to determine the number of something in general but this one you are coming to give a condition that count if this is this okay so count if then open bracket now the range is from this place cell e this one e6 to as column the last one will be e36 okay e36 it will highlight everything to the last okay the last index number is at e36 okay so count if from e6 to e36 so we are telling excel to count from cell e6 to e36 only if there is an a so we open quotation and enter a then we close it then we close the bracket then we click enter it only counts the number of a's okay so there are 16 a's it means that 16 students had a okay then let's also do that for number of b's so count if count if then we open bracket from cell what that is cell e6 to e36 comma then we open quotation then b we want to know the number of b so we close it and close the bracket then we click enter so here too there are six b's then let's know the number of c's so count if count if open bracket the range is cell e 6 2 that's column e 36 we want to know the number of c's in this case okay so we open quotation then close it then we close the bracket as well you click enter then let's know the number of d's so equals count if then we open brackets we enter the range from cell e6 to cell e36 comma then open quotation we have we want to know the number of d's in this case so we enter d there then we close it so we click enter so three people are d then Let's find the number of f's equals count if count if open bracket then we enter the range the range is from cell e6 towards e36 comma so we open quotation and enter f meaning we are telling excel that count all the f's from this range from e 6 to e36 all the f's they count them okay so we click enter so there are two f's then we want to know the number of highest like i want to know the number of people who had 94 
which is the highest mark is it one person or two or more so here too i can use the count if count if then i open bracket now in this case i want to i can enter the range okay but this time around the range should be d6 to d36 don't use e anymore because you, you want to know the mark the raw mark not the grading okay so d6 to d36 comma then i want to know the number of people who had 94 so i can type 94 there or i click on this the highest score i click on it and close the bracket and click enter only one person had 94 so to know the number of people are the lowest mark also count if count if then i open bracket so the range is d6 to that's column d36 comma then i select this also the lowest i want to know the number of people who got that lowest mark okay so i click enter so only one person also had the 24. you see that so that's how to determine all this so maybe you like to maybe highlight some of the things so the person with the highest mark which is the 90 that's 94 right this is it here the 94 only one person so you can click and drag to the last here so that you can easily identify it also you come to this place the full color you click on the arrow beside it then you choose the color that you want to use for it so which color do you want to use so okay let me use blue okay to show that that's the highest score then let me look for the lowest person as well there's 24 right so i click here and then drag to the last and then come to the arrow here click on it and then select maybe each color maybe red that's the lowest okay yeah i can try to easily fish them out do you get it i can also decide to put the the, the f's okay those who have the receipt that's the f two people so they are let me check and this person which is a 24 is already in red and then the second person also must be below 40. so i think that will, let me scroll up small there's it so i click here and then drag so I, i'm going to use the red also but i'll use this one i'll use the deep red okay the, the other one i use the light red i use the light red to identify that okay this is the lowest but since they are both writing the receipt I can use the color to identify so that I will know the number of people who are writing the receipt easily. Okay, so in the next video, we take other functions and also see how to use them. So I'll end this here for now. Thank you.